I've been on tablets for my depression for just over two months now and I'm beginning to have days when I feel bitter. So at the minute I'm actually feeling really good, like I think the tablets are starting to work in. Um, I'm like cleaning the house and doing the washing, like normal everyday things that before I'd think about and just like have a breakdown about. Dylan has been a lifesaver, working hard and helping with the kids, but on my down days he really gets worried. Voice of your redemption. Where's Megan now? Yeah, she's, yeah, sometimes it's a little bit hard and you try to make it feel better but then sometimes you say the wrong thing and it gets worse. So I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say to her, I don't know what will make her happy, what will make her sad. So I had a look in there and there's so many things what they say. They said you've got to say positive things like and if she when she like starts tidying up again you need to compliment her on it and things like that. I've just been to one of my counselling sessions. A mummy has come to pick me up. Oh, hello, Cherub. Hey. What? When I saw her two weeks ago, I was moderate on depression and anxiety, and now depression's gone down to mild, and anxiety's still at moderate. So do you, how do you feel in yourself? Yeah, I feel better, but I'm still a bit more anxious about stuff. Sometimes, like, like, if I'm driving or something, then I start panicking and thinking, oh, good, we're going to crash and then Mackenzie's going to die and I'm going to not die, and stuff like that. Well, why don't you... Like, you, you just, I just panic about stuff like that. Now I'm panicking that Grandma's going to die. But she will at some point. Yeah, I know, but... But your problem is she's going to die tomorrow. Yeah, but I don't want Grandma to die. No, you don't, and she's not going to die tomorrow. But, yeah, but I've had two dreams about it. Yeah, but a dream is just that, a dream. It's nothing else. 